Welcome to Electro Online, and here's an example of how to find the potential difference across a conductor, a certain length of conductor. Let's say we want to consider 50 meters of the conductor. Let's say it's 18 gauge wire made out of copper. The diameter will then be 1.02 millimeters. And let's say we have a current of 5 amps flowing through the conductor. Remember that the resistivity of copper wire is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters. So what is the potential difference across it? Well, from the last video, we got this equation right here. And so it's simply a matter of implementing that equation. The potential difference is equal to the resistivity times the current flowing through a certain unit area of wire or cross-section area of wire times the length of the wire. So in this case, the resistivity is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters. The current, 5 amps. The length of the wire, 50 meters. And the cross-sectional area, of course, the cross-sectional area of a conductor is typically a, a circle, and so it would be pi times the radius squared. And since the diameter is 1.02 millimeters, the radius is half of that, which is 0.51 millimeters. Converted to meters would be 0.00051 meters, and we have to square that. And that will give us the potential in volts. So we have 1.72 e to the 8 minus times 5 times 50 divided by pi and divided by 0 0.00051 squared equals, and that gives us 5.26 volts. So it would be equal to 5.26 volts, which is kind of interesting because this 18 gauge wire is typical household wire, wire that we have inside the house. And so if you run a long wire from the uh, place, from the, uh, what we call the, the, uh, the, the inlet box at the house, and let's say that we have 100 feet or 150 feet of wire before we get to the room that you want to have outlets at, and you run a 5 amp current to the wire, you lose 5 volts across the wire, which is kind of interesting. So your output wire at the output socket is not necessarily the 117 or 120 volts you were expecting. It can be a little bit less because you lost some of the voltage drop across the wire. And 5 volt is not insignificant. So there's a lot to it, a lot to conducting of electricity. And this is kind of an interesting result when you think of the, that a conducting wire can actually have a significant voltage drop across the wire. And of course, we'll do a, a video on showing how you can minimize the voltage drop. What can we do to minimize the loss of the voltage drop across an, a conductor? And that's how we do that.